Hello guys and welcome back. So in this video we're going to be adding a little bit of turbulence to the volume that we have to create more interesting details. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down a merge node and I'm going to add a gas turbulence which is basically a very basic node to add turbulence to the volume. And by just plugging that in I'm going to hit play and see what's going to happen to the sim. You can see that we're getting uh, more details in the volume and I'm going to uh, actually let's yeah, let's stay in, in the scope that's fine so what I'm going to do is I'm going to animate <coughs> I'm going to animate the turbulence as well to follow the uh, similar pattern for the uh, uh, similar pattern to the buoyancy uh, force itself so I'm gonna start with a value of zero I don't want any turbulence towards uh, at the beginning of the animation so I'm gonna set this to zero and then toward towards frame 70 77 I'm gonna change the mode to manual so I can easily key this uh, yeah it's outside the screen so okay let's turn this off so towards frame 77 I'm gonna set this to 0.2 and then towards frame 120 we're going to turn it completely off so we don't want any uh, turbulence anymore i'm going to change the size to point uh, sorry change the size to 2 and the gain to um, 0.4 and then everything else is the same so if i hit play now let's disable let's enable the solver back so if i hit play we should see the uh, dissipation and then more force happening towards the end you can see it it's happening there cool so now the last part uh, well there's two more things that we need to do uh, the first thing is we need to dissipate the smoke uh, slowly and we need to uh, expand auto expand the domain so it uh, encompasses all the volume that we have here so for the dissipation we're going to put down a gas dissipate dissipate node yep and we want to dissipate the density basically that's all we care about at the moment and I'm going to animate the density value so we're gonna set it to be for, um, let's set it to 0.5 so we understand how it works so if we use the evaporation rate of 0.5 you can see it's dissipating already I think the rate is fine, it's, it's good, but I would like to animate that so it's denser at the beginning and doesn't get affected. So we're going to start from frame 28, set it to 0, and then frame 120, we're going to set it to, uh, let's see, sorry, frame 90, 97, I'm going to set it to 0.9. And now if we hit play, Cool. we should see the dissipation the noise and everything happening and I think that's pretty much it for the sim I'm gonna add a gas auto resize gas uh, sorry uh, gas resize flow dynamic and I'm gonna plug this in here and set it set the frame delay to two so it doesn't um, it doesn't do anything for the first two frames and that will be enough to let the sim run for uh, for a bit and then under the max bound I want to turn this off I don't want to be there any limitation I want the volume to go as, as max as high as it needs to be to encompasses everything we need and I think that's pretty much it for the sim all we have to do now is increase the settings a little bit more and sim a high-res version and then we should be uh, we should be ready to start rendering this so for the resolution I'm going to for the final sim I'm going to change the sampling uh, the max step I'm going to increase that to 2 the CFL I'm going to increase that to 3 so it has uh, increasing the CFL gives it a higher chance of deciding a better chance of um, better chance of deciding which one to use either one or two and then for the resolution I'm going to increase this to 0 0.01 uh, sorry, 0 0.02 and that should give us plenty of uh, resolution to work with and I'm gonna hit play for a couple of frames 
and you can see the resize now is working and it's actually a, a pretty fast sim and I'm gonna save this to disk so I'm gonna go up to the uh, to the main level and I'm gonna put down a dot import field <coughs> drag this in here and then for <coughs> pardon me for the uh, object we want to import this object and for the fields it's a smoke so I want to import these fields uh, let me verify something so let's see I just fixed the path uh, there. I don't need the velocity and I don't need the rest because I don't have it. I just care about these two and we'll learn more about the temperature and how we can use it later. So for now, it's just going to include density and, uh, and temperature. And then I'm going to write this to disk. And this is my final path. I'm gonna save out uh, 240 frames just to have uh, everything we need if once the smoke dissipates it should be super quick to save this to disk so it won't uh, be causing any any extra computation so i'm going to set this and then I, I will be checking it and stopping it uh, as soon as i have all the frames that i need and then in the next video we're going to start uh, rendering this thanks for watching and see you in the next video